Hello and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle Bumper Kingy Bottom Rehydrated. One last episode, we played through the first section of Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, which is great so far. Love the atmosphere. And today we will be heading off to the Dutchman's ship and taking back his take or taking it back from control of the evil robots. Evil. All right. Howdy, Mr. Krabs. How's it going around these parts? Ahoy there, SpongeBob. Swab the poop deck. Ay, 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 ay. Oh. I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. All right, so this, the ship can be a little tough to get to. So hopefully we don't have too many problems here and you. So actually, I think the reason why it, it so I noticed that the Dutchman's graveyard is a little greener than uh, it was in the original. I think the reason why that might be is they might. I think they were trying to emulate. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what they were doing. It looks like they're trying to emulate how it was in in the episode Shanghai, which is actually a, not a bad idea. I'm, I'm actually not totally opposed to that. that. It definitely looks looks really good. So I'm I'm impressed with it so far. And hello. Also, I'm I'm totally used to the. Uh, Goose bubble controls for now at least. We'll we'll see what happens when we get to the final boss. All right, that that wasn't me being bad at controls. That was me being bad at using the cruise bubble. Uh, we'll see what happens when we get to the final boss. But for now, I think we are good to go. Please don't respawn your bubble shield. Also, that's a nice touch. You can actually see the the thrusters underneath the underneath the ship. Nice. All right. Well, robot generator number one. Can I use the bubble against these things now? I can. I I don't, I don't think you could do that in the original game. Oh dear. Hi, friend. How you doing? Get knocked into the Thunder Tiki. Two for one. All right, there's three. There's not four, but I did take out the hammer. Okay, hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Okay, I tried to get you, but it didn't uh, work. All right. Da, 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 da. Oh dear. It's, it's ricocheting. Did I don't want it to be ricocheting. Great. Okay, that's all the generators destroyed. There's a third... Nope, the third sock's above us. The underwear's down here. As well as this blue shiny object. Okay. <clears throat> That's, no, I didn't want to do. I want to do that. No, I didn't, because I need to. Uh, I need to flip the, the fl flip the thing first. Switch back to get, move away, and then switch back to SpongeBob. There's no sense in me changing my controls. So I was gonna switch back in a second anyway. I'll just I'll just bear with the controls for a second. Cause I'm I'm also hi. Okay, I'm gonna switch back in a second, so I may as well bear with the controls just for the second. Nope, wrong side. But uh, there we go. Okay. Ah, uh, this can, the camera controls are so weird. Head back up. Switch to Sandy, and all right, let's. Change this, change this back as fast as possible. Okay, there we go. All right then, moving on. Let me land on this before it starts going up. Here we go. All right, can we make this jump? Hope we make it. Made it. Don't even worry about it. We're too good at the game. All right, all robot cannons destroyed. Get rid of this thing. All right, now the hard part's gonna be getting this, uh, getting this sock. On our first try, hook on. All right, let's hold on. Oh, oh, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. I okay. I was not ready for that to stop. I, I I was holding down the B button. I didn't realize that it cut you off. All right, well, let's try that again. Let's 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 jump off when it does that, and then turn the camera like this. Uh, we're not gonna be high enough to get it. Oh yes, we are. All right. All right, we did it. We done diddly did it. Now let's get back up there again. All right, now that we've gotten all three socks, we can focus on uh, taking care of the cannons because I'm pretty sure. All we gotta do is just clear out the ship, face off against the Dutchman, and then that's it for the Dutchman's graveyard. Alright, we've made it over here. What do we gotta do here? We gotta hit we start we gotta start hitting cannons. Alright, so uh first things first, switch to SpongeBob because we don't need Sandy anymore. Now the rest of this is all platforming skills, not uh not swinging skills. But we will get to play as Sandy for her first big boss fight. Because now I think about it, I think it's the only boss in the game that you fight as uh as Sandy, yeah. So Oh wait, no, sorry, there, there is uh, Robo Patrick too, there's Robo Patrick, Robo Patrick, but out of the, out of the level bosses, it's the only one you fight as uh, Sandy. Okay, so that's Golden Spatula collected, let's head back over here and make the jump, perfect, too good at the game, bubble bounce, I missed, bubble bounce, there we go, alright. Uh, can we make this jump? It's probably safer to bounce up top, but I, I'm confident in my platforming skills, okay, we just made it, we just barely made that. But can we make the jump back? Probably not. Uh, might have done diddly messed up unless I can exploit. No. Okay. Let's let let's hope that the checkpoints are nice to me, and that if I jump off here, it'll take me back up there. Let's hope anyway. Please, please be nice to me. I don't want to do that all again. Okay, you're nice to me. Thank you, game, for being nice to me. 
Now I can jump our way up. Oh wait, no, there's, there was no point in doing that because I have to. Unless I can stand on this. Oh wait, can I just skip the? Oh, okay. I can just skip the platforming challenge entirely. I think the checkpoint will be nice to me if I drop down here to get this and then just jump off immediately. Maybe. All right, achievement unlocked. Ship shape. Reclaim the flying Dutchman ship in the flying Dutchman graveyard. Will this fall me back up on top of the balcony? Please say yes. All right, it did. Cool. I didn't have to go through all that again. So now let's get the golden spatula. And now I'll, I'll check to make sure. Yep, all we got to do is just go face off against the Dutchman. Let's do it. Alright, so this boss fight was trash in the original. I'm really hoping it's not trash in this version. Alright, phase one, last of the t Yes, thanks. I, I I do know how to play this. Oh boy! Okay, I wasn't ready. The, this, this boss fight's much slower in the original. I wasn't prepared for this to actually move fast. Okay. Alright, where, where you going, buddy? You going there? Okay, lasers again. Lasers. Lasers! Okay. I wasn't prepared for him to actually fire his, la fire his lasers so quickly. Alright, lasso that tail. Got it. Phase keep hurting the ghost what wait did, did they change this boss fight ah what do you, what do you mean keep hurting the ghost? oh wait is it does, does it mean like just oh it, it probably means just keep lassoing him because that's what you're doing right you're using your lasso to hurt to, to la lasso to hurt all the ghosts that's probably that's probably what it means anyway this is the lasers might still go on for a tad too long uh but at least he doesn't take six thousand years to to do something at least at least he goes pretty quickly you know so it's not it's not too bad and he moves this moves a lot faster than in the, than in the original so all right overall this boss fight so far pretty good I mean so nothing's gonna top the Robo Sandy boss fight in terms of how much it was changed because that that boss fight was garbage in the original and then they made it so radically different in terms of speed it was it was so good uh, Robo Patrick was still pretty decent. Uh, they, they made it harder, obviously. Uh, but I'd rather have harder and faster than slower and, uh, easier. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? You're going there. Okay. And then this one, they definitely made this one a little bit faster. Not too much noticeably faster. I think they may have reduced the amount of times he does his laser attack. Because let's be perfectly clear about this. He did his laser attack a lot in the original. Uh, and he's still doing it a fair amount here. But at least it's not as egregious. And at, like at least it, it seems to go a little bit faster. Lasso of that tail. All right, that is the Dutchman's Graveyard 100% cleared out. Nice. Only 11 spatulas to go, and then we are done with the game. Awesome. Well, I mean, not awesome, because I want to keep playing, but, you know, awesome from a completion perspective. 
And now, because, see, that's what, this is what I meant in Jellyfish Fields. Uh, by default, you come back to this area as Dutch, as Sandy, and there's no bus stop anywhere for you to switch back to Spongebob. So you, you, you either had to go to a different area to warp, to switch to Spongebob, or you had to, uh, warp back to Bikini Bottom. But now that, but now that they changed that in this game, I don't have to worry about that, which is really nice. Big fan of that. All right, then. Well... That's it for this episode. Usually we get a, a special from Patrick after every after we finish every zone of the game, but we can't do that this time because we only have five socks, and there's only five more for us to collect in the entire game, and those await us in SpongeBob's Dream, which I am a little skeptical about, but we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next time to catch you all later for some more SpongeBob's Reference Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Goodbye. <laughs>